any object falling freely under gravity near the Earth's surface will have a downward acceleration of around 9.8 metres per second squared. Remember that acceleration is a measure of how much velocity will change as time passes. Let's look at this example of an apple. Here we can say that the apple is falling freely under gravity, as the only force acting on it is its own weight. Now the weight is given by mg, where m is the mass of the apple and g is the gravitational field strength. Now if no other forces act on the apple, then we can show that the acceleration of the apple is equal to g. g, and hence the apple's acceleration, is 9.8 metres per second squared. Make sure you remember this value, as you'll be expected to recall it in an exam. But do all free-falling objects really have this same acceleration? How exactly can we show this? In theory, two objects of different masses will still move in line with each other when both are dropped from the same height. Let's consider two balls made of different materials. One is wooden and one is metal. They have the same shape but different masses. This is an experiment supposedly done by the Italian physicist Galileo, where he dropped balls like this off the Leaning Tower of Pisa. You would expect the heavier metal ball to fall faster, but when we drop them, we actually see them fall in line with each other. This is because, as objects freely falling under gravity, they both have the same acceleration of 9.8 metres per second squared. The heavier object having a greater acceleration from gravity is just a misconception and a mistake you need to be careful to avoid in an exam. But where does this misconception come from? In practice, the objects fall at different speeds as the amount of air resistance they experience is different. Now, air resistance is a resistive force caused by collisions with air molecules. There are many factors which determine how strong it is, such as the shape of an object. Now let's consider doing the experiment again, but this time with a feather and a rock. Now when we drop them, we see the rock fall faster than the feather. Does this mean that the rock experiences a greater acceleration due to gravity? Well, let's explain this by considering the forces acting on each. Both are being pulled down by their weight, and both experience air resistance against this. It's the differences in how the objects experience both these forces, not just the weight, which causes them to accelerate differently. In particular, the fact that the feather experiences much more air resistance than the rock. To put it another way, we said that objects will experience the same acceleration if they fall freely under gravity. But in practice, there will almost always be other forces affecting them. You don't need to explain why we see varying accelerations in practice, but you do need to recall and understand that freely falling objects will accelerate the same way in theory. Thanks for watching. If you want to take your GCSE revision to the next level, head over to launchpadlearning.com and check out our smart learning platform that's been designed to get you top results in your exams. We cover your whole specification and make revision fun with interactive quizzes, easy to follow videos and more. You'll be kept motivated by your own AI tutor who's here to support you every step of the way. To check it out for yourself, click here. Or click here to keep watching a selection of the videos from our full GCSE physics course. See you there.